Network Forensics. Network forensics is the aspect of digital forensics that involves investigating computer network and network data to form assessments and draw conclusions about criminal behavior, cybersecurity events, and to gather information. Through network forensics, investigators can view file transfers, messages, emails, web traffic, credentials, and much more. Investigators can use this data to determine whether or not an individual is responsible for a specific crime. A lot of data is transferred over computer networks that most people are not ever aware of. Data such as IP addresses, MAC addresses, and GPS data can help investigators solve crimes, respond to incidents, and gather valuable intelligence. Advantages of Network Forensics the world is becoming more and more interconnected every year. Not only are there more devices being invented with network capabilities, but it is becoming easier for devices to be added to various types of computer networks. Smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, tablets, IoT devices, and many more are all examples of network devices. Every device that uses a computer network transmits or receives data that can be useful to investigators. For example, Wi-Fi is a type of wireless networking function that allows a wide array of devices to connect to the Internet. When these devices connect to a Wi-Fi access point, their information is stored in the router and Wi-Fi data is stored on the device itself. This information can be used to identify whether or not a specific device was in a certain location by examining the historical network logs. This information can also be used to track a suspect's historical location by viewing which networks they previously connected to and when. This can help investigators to determine someone's pattern of life and to identify key associations that may help solve a crime. Disadvantages of Network Forensics Computer networking is one of the more complex and difficult to understand fields of study within information technology. Many people have a difficult time learning and retaining the various aspects of computer networking at a high level. Because of this, it is possible that untrained digital forensics investigators will overlook important details that could be useful in a case. However, many of these obstacles can be overcome through mastering the use of advanced network forensics tools combined with a good understanding of the fundamentals of computer networking. Additionally, in today's day and age, most networks are using some form of encryption which makes it more difficult to gain access to the data. Gone are the days when open and unsecured networks were more prevalent, but it does still exist. Because of this, those who wish to practice network forensics at an advanced level may need to learn penetration testing skills in addition to using forensic toolkits. This will allow them to conduct activities such as breaking encryption and various active surveillance techniques. Legal matters may also become a concern when conducting network forensics, since gaining access to the network data of a suspect may also include inadvertently gaining access to other people's data. There could be various legal concerns that arise surrounding privacy. Going through the proper channels to get an activity approved may cost valuable time that could allow a suspect to get away or for data to be destroyed. Types of data collected there are two primary types of network forensics data that are collected during a digital forensics investigation. The first is what is called a packet capture, which is the process of viewing, recording, and analyzing the actual network packets that are being transmitted over a network. This can be done using tools such as Wireshark, which is one of the tools that you will learn how to use in this program. Packet captures can be analyzed in real time, and they can also be recorded and analyzed retroactively. Data such as password credentials, emails, file transfers, and much more can be viewed in a packet capture. The next source of data are log files, which are files that contain historical information in logs about a device's activity. Log files will contain valuable information such as IP addresses, port numbers, websites that have been visited, server data, and much more. The combination of log files and packet captures can help investigators to formulate an accurate story about what took place on a given network. 
This story can also help them to discover key details about individuals on a network and what types of activity they were involved in. Even if the data is not able to be decrypted, it can still provide a picture of what type of activity took place, which may be enough to generate helpful assessments during an investigation.